First at five, detectives are searching for other victims after a hospice chaplain was arrested, accused of sexually assaulting a grandmother at a care facility. It's just an extremely disturbing case, and ABC 10's Roxanne Elias has more from Sacramento County deputies. The man you see here, a hospice chaplain, is accused of sexually assaulting an elderly woman at the care facility where he worked. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says the reason he was caught is because the woman's family had recently installed a camera to check on her. She'd been getting these visits fairly regularly, um, you know, getting re religious consult and what have you. Well, the family, again, just doing what they were doing, viewing the video, happened to catch the sexual assault taking place from this chaplain. Sergeant Amar Gandhi says this happened a few weeks ago. He says the grandmother is in her 70s and is nonverbal. Arthur Apgard of Placer County was arrested and booked into the county jail on four counts of sexual battery against a person who is seriously disabled or medically incapacitated. I mean, it's just shocking to the conscience on so many levels. Uh, obviously, our detectives, once we caught wind of this, it hits everybody on a personal level. We all have parents, we all have grandparents, we all have you know elderly family members that we care for dearly. We tried to speak with Apgard on Friday morning, but an attempt to knock on his door at his home in Lincoln ended with no answer. Deputies are now looking for anyone who may have been a victim or has family members who have had contact with Apgard. They believe he's been in the industry a long time and has had access to several different facilities. The unfortunate part about this whole thing is that he was able to post bail and was out within hours. So he's back out. We don't know if there are any victims out there that are unreported. And unfortunately, a, a sad reality of this is if there are more victims, they may have already passed. In Sacramento, Roxana Elias, ABC 10. And we know many are asking, why in the world was he released on bail? Deputies say they don't set the bail. It's all set on the standard bail schedule. But that could change after he goes to his first hearing on August 12th. So stay with ABC 10 for updates.